Dilly and the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up to sport tonight. Come and subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Now, for those of you who seen my video a few weeks back on this particular subject, you'll know that Dilly White, he called me up and we're just having a general conversation about this, that and the other, how he's getting on about my little boy, all that kind of stuff. And in this conversation, um, which was not for the channel, of course, I asked him about Andy Ruiz Jr. How come that fight fell apart? How come you're fighting Alexander Povetkin and not Andy Ruiz Jr.? And he says, well, we offered Andy Ruiz Jr. 2 million to come to the UK, 5 million to fight in the US. So I said, okay, cool. Is it okay if I make a video on that and actually put out in public what the numbers were? 2 million UK, 5 million for the US. And he's like, yeah, yeah, of course you can. Now, where would it be that Dillian White gets those numbers from? Well, it'll be Eddie Hearn, won't it? So Dillian White, since I had that conversation with uh, Dillian, he's had a couple of interviews and he said the same thing. We offered Andrew Ruiz Jr. 2 million for the UK. He didn't want to come to the UK. 5 million for the US. The reason that he, that, uh, he declined the 5 million for the US was because Andrew Ruiz Jr. He didn't want to be fighting until a bit later on in the year. He wanted like a tune-up or, or, or this kind of stuff. So that's why he's fighting Povetkin. Now, Eddie Hearn, he was asked that question as well by Coogan. Is it true that uh, you offered him two million for the UK, five million for the US? Eddie Hearn sat there nodding, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Andy Ruiz Jr., he didn't want the fight. It's a shame it would have been a good fight, et cetera, et cetera. So Eddie Hearn was also saying, yes, it was two million for UK, five million for the US. Anyway, um, Andy Ruiz Jr. and Dylan White, these guys have been having a bit of a spat um, online, social media. And the latest one being that Andy Ruiz Jr. called Dylan White a liar. You didn't offer me five million. Blah, blah, blah. Dillian White's had enough because Dillian, Eddie Hearn, they put in a lot of offers. Now, of course, Dillian, he doesn't really see what the offers are. He can only hear it from Eddie Hearn. He just believes whatever, whatever it is that Eddie Hearn says. Yeah, yeah, we put in this offer, that offer, that offer. Okay. So there's so many fighters out there. Luis Ortiz, um, Deontay Wilder, Dominic Brazil, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, the latest one being Andrew Ruiz Jr., where they're all calling Dillian White a liar. No offers came through, or that's not really a good offer. It was a low ball, blah, 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 blah. So Dillian's had enough of these people calling him a liar. So he got hold of Eddie Hearn, clearly, and said, yo, send me the offer that you send you send to Andrew Ruiz Jr. I'm going to put it on social media. I'm fed up with this guy calling me a liar. Eddie Hearn responded and showed him a screenshot of the offer that was sent to Andy Ruiz Jr. And this is what the offer was. Hi, Tom. I'm presuming Tom's a member of Andy Ruiz Jr.'s team, whoever that is. Anyway, hi, Tom. Further to our recent emails, we would like to make a new offer of $4 million for Andy to fight Dillian White in June in the US. Look forward to hearing from you, Eddie. So it wasn't $5 million, It was $4 million. Now, we could split hairs, $4 million, $5 million. Either way, Andy Ruiz Jr., any offer over $1 million, in my opinion, Andy Ruiz Jr. should be taken, especially when the opportunity there is there of fighting Dillian White, who's the number one in the WBC, the mandatory for the WBC, and the interim world heavyweight champion for the WBC. So anything more than $1 million, he should be accepted anyway, because he's not going to make a $1 million fighting anybody else on the planet right now. He isn't going to get a third fight with Anthony Joshua anytime soon. Even Deontay Wilder, he probably wouldn't get a million dollars now for fighting him there. He certainly ain't going to get it with Luis Ortiz or Adam Kaunaki or Charles Martin or whoever else. Okay, Anybody on the PBC, he isn't going to make a million dollars. So a $4 million offer is a fantastic deal. He should have snapped his damn hand off for that one. He should have jumped in the canoe, come over to the UK and signed the damn contract. That's what Andrew Ruiz Jr. should have done. But is what it is. So Dillian, he's been going around saying, and he's under the impression that it was 5 million, but it wasn't, it was four. And Eddie Hearn put in a text message, which I'm presuming Dillian wasn't supposed to show in public, where he says, we offered 4 million to Ruiz. You should go back and say, sorry, I'll check with Eddie. We offered you 4 million. Do we have a deal at 5 million? And I will get it done. Now, what that's telling me is that Eddie Hearn is pretty much saying, ah, oh, damn, I've been caught out here. I told him it was five million, but it's actually four million. And I've been allowing Dillian, Dillian to run around saying, we offered him five million, but it wasn't, it was actually four million. As I said, Rui should have took that damn money anyway, four million, five million, 10 million. Who, who cares, it's more than a million, right? But again, this is almost Eddie Hearn saying, well, if you want, you can pull out the Povetkin fight and we'll see if we can get the Andrew Ruiz Jr. fight. 
instead. Now, what this is telling me is that Eddie Hearn is making the offers and telling Dillian one thing, but doing something else. So it'd be interesting to see if, if um, at some point Dillian gets hold of Eddie and says, right, show me all the offers that you sent um, Luis Ortiz, all the offers that you, sh you showed Deontay Wilder, um, Dominic Brazil, Kubrat Pulev, etc. All these guys who've been calling me a liar, show me the biggest offers that you sent them. And I'm gonna put them out on social media. So I'll be interested to see what it is that Eddie Hearn shows him, or of course he could go down the route of, well, that one was actually a phone call and but try and get his way out of it. So it does make me wonder what it is that Eddie Hearn, what else has he been lying about? Because Diddy White isn't gonna get this wrong. He's a businessman himself, he's his own manager. He knows numbers, believe me, he's a very, very smart guy. He knows his worth. So he isn't just gonna pull out the number of five million. He would have got that number from somewhere else, Eddie Hearn. So when it comes down to it, it makes me wonder what else it is that Eddie Hearn has been saying to Dillian, but actually doing. Because we know that with uh, Eddie Hearn, I'm not having a go at him as much because he's put a lot of money in the pocket of Dillian White. Dillian White's earned it, okay? He's the one who's been selling himself, doing his own promotional and doing all the interviews and being a very likable uh, guy, very, very funny guy and an absolute warrior in the ring, okay? But Eddie Hearn has given him massive, massive money, which at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, is it not? It's prize fighting. You're fighting for money. Dillian would like to get out of boxing, much like, much like all fighters would like to do, get out of boxing with a healthy bank balance. So far, that seems to be the case. So we have to give Eddie Hearn all the pats on the back that we possibly can for that one. But with me, it's always been about Dillian getting the world title shot. And I know for a fact, for a fact, that Eddie Hearn didn't do enough to make Dillian White first dominant Brazil. I'm talking before the WBC ordered it. I'm talking when Dillian White, he came come on the channel and we were talking about him having negotiations with uh, Derek Chisora for the rematch. Derek Chisora was playing silly asses and he says, well, if, then ideally, if it was up to me, I would fight Dominic Brazil. Bash him up and then force the hand of the WBC, then I become mandatory and then get the world title shot. Had that happened, Dillian White would already have the world title shot by now. He'd already batted Wilder and been WBC champion, okay? but. I don't really know what kind of offers went through to Dominic Brazil, but what I do know is that when I seen Eddie Hearn, I asked him, again, it's here on the channel. I asked Eddie Hearn, what about Dominic Brazil instead of Derek Chisora? Eddie Hearn said to me, well, people here in the UK don't really care about Dillian White versus uh, Dominic Brazil, don't really care about him versus Luis Ortiz, but Derek Chisora, the casual fans, they're the ones who will tune in to watch it. They're the ones who will pay the money. They're the ones who will get excited about this fight. Now, I can't argue with it because it's probably true, but for Dillian to get a world title shot, it was dominant Brazil. And I was getting the impression from Eddie Hearn that, I don't know if he even made an offer to dominant Brazil. I have absolutely no idea, but it's a case of Dillian White will fight pretty much whoever Eddie Hearn wants him to fight. He wanted him to fight Derek Chisora because it generates more money, which is true, but him fighting dominant Brazil would have gotten a world title shot. It's these kind of things. So what is, there's, yeah, I'm splitting hairs between 4 million and 5 million. I'm wondering what else it is. Is it Eddie Hearn's fault in part why he hasn't had a world title shot? Has Eddie Hearn, has he been going at the WBC? Has he been threatening them with legal action over their handling of Dillian White? Probably not. So how much does he really care about Dillian White's career getting a world title shot? He, he says that he does, but behind closed doors, what's he really doing? But anyway, Four million was a great offer, regardless of whether it was five, six, ten, three million, whatever it was. Anything more than a million, Andy Ruiz Jr. should have accepted the fight. And the truth is, Andy Ruiz Jr. ducked, ducked Dillian White. That's the facts of it, is it not? And Dillian White, yet again, has proven that a big offer did go through and Dillian White was willing to fight him even in Andy Ruiz Jr.'s own country. Anyway, drop your thoughts below about it. Of course, click the thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. Drop your comments below. Do you think that uh, Eddie Hearn has always had the best interest for Dillian White as far as his career and legacy? Or is it a case of keeping Dillian White back as a backup because Sky Sports need a pay-per-view fighter and he's been holding Dillian White back and not giving him the opportunities to get the world title shot? Maybe, maybe. But for me, I think that uh, Eddie Hearn is a fantastic promoter. He does well for his fighters, but when it comes to Dillian White, 
He has dropped the ball on more than one occasion. That's my honest opinion on it. Anyway, drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.